Welcome to my solar addiction. Today's video. Power distribution blocks. How I use them. Okay, as part of my new fancy switchable setup, I'm going to be able to switch between these two Solarcs running these three EG4 Power Pro all-weather wall batteries, which is 840 amp hours of energy storage, along with this 600 amp hours of LLV2 from EG4, which is running the house right now. But I'm about to switch it to the two 18 kPVs over here on the end. That one on the right is the slave. This one on the left is the master. Without the grid boss, because we're going to do that connection after we set this up, paralleling the two 18 kPVs along with those same batteries. Okay, so as part of that, I wanted to share my a, a grid tied arrays. I've also set it up to share my DC connected arrays that I've put in my pergola and my patio array. So I've been using power distribution blocks. There's one inside this wiring trough right behind the danger sign. And there's another one that I installed over here, same position behind Mr. Danger. And I'm changing that way it was set up before because my electrician who actually did the AC side because I do have a grid connection for my first system, he was just daisy chaining and I noticed a difference in the power that was going from, you know, the master on the left or the slave on the right from that AC coupled array because it was daisy chained. So I'm going to switch that with a PDB, a power distribution block, so that it would more evenly distribute the power. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other end so that when I'm running the 18 kPVs without the solar arcs to do testing between the two, I will be able to just switch my AC coupled array along with my DC coupled arrays and change systems. Pretty fancy, right? Well, it's part of my addiction. I know some of y'all share that addiction. I wanted to go over these um, power distribution blocks. Um, these are made by uh, Merson. And um, if you look at the specs on the side, it says 135 amps to 175 amps. And then it gives you the line and load side specs on the wiring and um, they can go from 6 AWG all the way up to 2 watt on the line side and then the load side it's um, anywhere from 14 AWG all the way up to 4 AWG but these are great for distributing power and what I'm going to use it for is my um, AC coupled solar array comes in from the ex uh, external disconnect on the side of my house with this 8.3 cable. So um, for my Solark install, I had just basically the um, electrician did the AC side on that. He daisy chained from the slave inverter, which was closest to where it came into the house, using one of these cables from that inverter to the second inverter. And I've noticed that the um, slave inverter actually shows more power coming from the AC coupled array. So what I want to do is I'm going to use these power distribution blocks to even that out as far as the wiring. I will have the AC coupled array come in here. We'll have uh, L1, L2, neutral and ground connected in here. And then I'll come out of this side. One will go to from each uh, pole. We'll go to each inverter distributed from the line side over here, the load side, I mean, the load side on this side, okay? So that will be the same thing as it is now, but instead of daisy chaining, we would have a direct connection between each from the centrally incoming power from the AC coupled array. Now, the reason why I have, you could see here, this four pole block here is actually a combination of a three pole block and a one pole block because 
Couldn't find one like this, but with this uh, Mersin system, you can pull one of the panels off the side of one of these and then just connect it onto the side of this. Now, I got the first one off pretty easily. I'm having a real hard time getting this one off and I will struggle with that some more off camera because I'm not sure exactly why it's not coming off. Maybe they glued it on this one and the other one wasn't. But um, basically, even if I can't get them both connected like I did with the first one, I could just line them up like this and do the same connections. But I'm also, I have two sets because I'm also going to do the same sort of distribution of AC coupled array to the new uh, EG4 system that I'm going to be setting up to switch between the Solark and the EG4 stuff. All right. My red mark is here, which should be the same length as that one. So if we look here, we can see this is the 8.3 cable coming from through the wiring trough going around underneath my Power Pros all the way back over to where it comes in from outside. And that will be coming from the other power distribution block by the Solarks that I'm going to be replacing that daisy chain set up with. So all four of these wires will be connected on this side and then each one of these this one goes to this 18 kpv and this one will go to this 18 kpv coming in right here and we're ac coupling on the gen port okay and then when we actually add in the grid bus the plan is to use this wire here that I just got to run a connection to smart port one right here, which is the recommended port for AC coupling. So there'll be a cable running from here, A3, coming down through here and then up into this area here. And when we disconnect these and run the uh, 18 KPVs to the grid boss, I'll disconnect these and then we'll have the AC coupled array continue on through this block 
all the way up to in smart port one where we have an AC coupled on the grid boss. Go out to about there. Let's see. Give it a little bit more. All right, so this is the power coming in from these other separate power distribution block that is going to the AC coupled array. All right, so let me get one of them started here. torque specs a little later just kind of get them connected and I worry about torquing it down a little later that's good and tight and make sure it goes all the way in good before I start tightening and then we got our neutral And then, last but not least, is going to be the ground. So I'm going to want to give that a little bit of a bend like that. And as you can see, L1, L2, neutral, ground, all connected on the line side. Like I said, I'll look for torque specs a little bit later to make sure that's done properly. So this one's got the least amount of play. So I wanna, this one's got a lot of play. I can go all the way over there with it. But this, if I cut it too short, I might have a problem. So I wanna trim it down, but I'm only gonna trim it to about, let's see how this is gonna look. To about right here. Let's start with this one. And just trim a little bit more off because we don't want to have that ground wire exposed too long if possible. And then hole <clears throat> and then last but not least that's the ground wire get that bad boy in there and we're going to tighten so now, we're going to trim these and do the same thing. Back mm -hmm. this for now. And there it is. So we can see that we have comes in here. Power 
power for AC couple. And then we got two different cables coming out on this side, distributing the power between this AC coupled on the gen port. Here's our neutral and our ground coming in. This wire here is coming up through here and right here on the gen port of the second hybrid. All right, so, okay, so now we can see that I have L1, L2 connected to this um, 80 amp breaker on smart port one. That's the recommended one for the AC coupled array if you're using the grid boss. And that cable comes down here through this wiring trough, down through here, and then comes up through here and these are those wires okay ready to switch my system from sharing the AC coupled arrays with both 18 kpvs to disconnecting those and sharing that with the grid boss so as part of my new setup I also used one of those power distribution blocks to share my AP smart rapid shutdown that is on my uh, patio array that's connected to my house so I have to have rapid shutdown and here's the wires coming in that <clears throat> from that rapid shutdown system and I've got it coming in on this side this one's got the little covers I've got covers on the other ones they're pretty nice and then on this side I have the, the wires coming back out these are going to the Solark and then the other ones over here come out of that side and then they go down through here over to the 18k pv master which is the one on the left but you can use these little power distribution blocks for all kinds of stuff i like them and they're not that expensive on zorro that's where i bought them from there'll be a link in the description below so i know after seeing all of that a lot of people are wondering when I'm going to get the full build video on this out. I just completed it. I've been working on some other video edits. But it's going to happen. It's all of the raw footage is in the can. I just got to actually edit it. So that will be coming out soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm real proud of my new system. And I can't wait to show you guys the build video. Take care now. Hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video.